hi all so i'm here again with this topic in as400 so this time i'm using sql to check if a bad job is active in a subsystem or not so we already discussed that how we can check for jobs active or not in cl programming now we'll be discussing using the sql so let's do the sql so we have a table function which is available in qsys2 active underscore job underscore info so this table is uh, using this table function we can uh, figure out uh, what are all jobs which are active right now in the subsystem so for example uh, i am checking in qbatch so we can see I'm selecting only the job name select job underscore name from that table function so I'm writing like this from then table then within brackets qsys2 dot active underscore job underscore info and then I'm giving my filter criteria so I'm giving this column subsystem underscore list underscore filter equals to qbatch so this way I would be listing all the batch jobs uh, which are currently active in the qbatch subsystem so currently this batch job which is active in the qbatch so if i look at the quinter i can see all these jobs are currently active but these jobs are not a bad jobs basically and you can see these are the active sessions because i am looking at quinter right now so uh, for batch jobs I would be looking into the Q batch let's see other thing for example uh, for the batch job for example I am trying to only figure out the job whose name is QZ Daso in it which is submitted from some uh, Java or something other ways so I am using this uh, column job underscore name underscore filter so where I am applying or giving the job name as QJ as Daso in it so I can mention several other filters as well by applying comma comma and then return the next column and checking with them also but I am I'm not doing that right now I can see that these are, are these are all the jobs with QJ Daso in it which are currently active so let's see all the information of a bad job which is currently active this was the job name let's see the status is SBS since it's a subsystem job so that's uh, what I want to show you let me show you one more thing where I just want to show all the information uh, from this table function so for that case I will be using detail underscore info column and where I am applying the filter as all so that I would be looking for all the information of what I am seeing on the work active job session so what I am seeing on the work active job screen I can look at those jobs from here as well so if I would do star here I would be able to see all the informations of the jobs which I can look from the work active job as well so this is the table function qsys which is available in qsys2 active underscore job underscore info from which we can check whether a bad job or job is active in a subsystem using the SQL approach so that's all in this video. Thank you and have a nice time.